It's me again, Brian Lowe, and I'm coming to you from out in the studio. A lot of people have been asking me to put up a video of the Hamer TLE that I've got from 1986, all-American made Hamer guitar. Uh, if you know Hamer guitars, you know that in the old days they were all hand-built, and of course the expensive ones are still that you don't get from Korea. But real quick, I want to talk about the feature of the guitar, and then we'll go through some sound samples for you. First off, we've got this great maple top. 5-way selector switch, volume tone. That is a hardtail bridge that strings through the back. Uh, Bucker single single, which are, from what I have been told, the Hamer Slammer series pickups. Mahogany body, and there's a little bit of buckle rash you can see on the back, but it is from 1986. Other than that, there's a little bit of finish checking here and there. Hamer headstock, rosewood fretboard. 24 frets, as I stated before, mahogany body, set in maple neck, and the neck is, if you can see, three pieces of maple together. So, for, uh, and it looks left-handed in the video because I haven't figured out how to flip my Mac camera yet. Um, so, for video purposes, you'll have to see it like this, but I am a right-handed player. This is a right-handed guitar. Also, for demo purposes, just so I can show you the most sounds that I can, we're going through my Line 6 AX2, which is from 1999. So, let's take a listen. The first patch I've got programmed in is a matchless with some chorus and some delay on it. And let's go back and see what this guitar sounds like as clean as we can possibly get it. This is the Roland JC120. That's in the rear position bucker. This is the bucker with the middle single coil. Of course, the middle pickup by itself. in the middle together. So if we want something that sounded a little more countryish or tellyish, let's go up to my put it back in the rear again. Second position. And right now we're going through a Fender Twin simulation with basically nothing on it but maybe a little reverb. So as you can see the guitar is great for country. Now let's goose it up a little bit. We're going to go up to a uh, JTM 45 Marshall. Here's the bucker again. Be great for like your Larry Carlton kind of sound. Second position. Third position. Fourth position. And of course, the ever loving neck pickup. something a little bit heavier and go on up to the uh, 
This is a Mesa Boogie Mark II C++ I've programmed in, and I've put as much fairy dust on it as I could possibly put on it to simulate more of a Steve Lukather sound, who's kind of like, you know, King Dingling for me, Mr. Lukather. And we're going all the way back in the rear position, and I have got, let me tell you exactly what I've got on it. I've got some EQ, I've got some uh, chorus, I've got delay, and I've got reverb, so we're running the whole gamut on effects on this. Ah. No charge for bad notes. What's really nice is that the uh, volume knob is placed right in a position where if I want to do the Roy Buchanan thing, right there. Let's take a listen to this through even a heavier amp. Let's go, uh, let's keep it through the same mix of boogie. Let's take the chorus off and let's drive it to the hilt. We're in the bucking position again. <laughs> Same sound, but move it to the neck position. take it back and just really clean it up. Let's take it this time and run it through something really jangly like a uh, Vox AC30 top boost. <laughs> and then all the way up into the fifth position. So it's a great all-around American-made guitar from the days when Americans were actually making guitars great. And, uh, I'll be happy to entertain any questions or offers on it. Once again, it's the Hanger TLE 1986, all original. And I've been Brian Lowe. Thanks for your time and watching.